we went to Bovingdon, which is where we built the the set of trenches which you kind of arrive in first uh, in the story. And it was an empty air, like kind of airfield where there's a market sometimes. And we literally, Sam himself had walked through with the script and sort of paced out the dialogue to kind of give a rough shape of what he thought it would be like. And then Dean and I did basically did that, read the scene with script in hand and kind of go, okay, I think broadly it's this far. And then we should, you know, we'll get to the corner about here and we'd mark that out. And then there would be, um, you know, Roger and, and Sam would be deciding at what point they want the camera to go from front to back, perhaps. And so then you have to kind of work out a legitimate reason f to give room for the camera. To take in this atrocious mess that is no man's land and these angry sort of barbed wire spikes, all just this kind of mess of this really violent image when you sort of raise raise your head over. I remember being really struck by that and kind of getting a sense of what they would be feeling as well of like we've we've got to go through that. And that's also having done all the research and, and everything and you sort of understanding oh, and then it wasn't until you physically saw it there was this kind of hopeless realisation of like they were sending men over through that. The cast that's that Sam and Nina have assembled for this is is uh yeah it's really amazing um, and i think a credit to the script that sam and christy have written that they wanted to come and be a part of it um, but it's been great to kind of watch people come in for a couple of days here and there and watch them watch them do their thing and how it differs and that they how they slot into something you know the kind of vibe that we've got up and running but then also what how these kind of top professionals bring you know bring their their, their skill set to it. It's been a real privilege working with Sam, and again, as you, as you say, to, to work on something that's so personal to him, I think it's a real privilege in any sense when someone offers themselves up personally, you know, in like, in a, like a relationship, in a friendship, when someone opens themselves up, um, it's, a, it's really, you know, it's, it's a privilege to kind of, to be, someone to, uh, who gets access to that. Um, and Sam's done that with this, and he's, he said he's not written anything before, but this says obviously this story is kind of bubbled up in him, and it's something that he wanted to, to, to get out and to tell.